Preventing panic is the way I'll describe this. The new reason women are choosing to freeze their eggs at all sorts of different ages, too. So that your Rushing egg would be like 30 years old if you got married at 40, is that the idea? Correct. Age. Right. Thank God we have uh, Dr. Jen uh, Cottle here. Hey. Is it okay to reveal what you told us? Yes, here? absolutely. So I froze my eggs. I, okay. And actually I did it twice because I didn't get a lot of eggs the first time. So I, I did it for the first time maybe three or four years ago. And I did it again about two years ago. And uh, I did it because, um, you know, it, time is moving on. And I wanted to preserve fertility, which is the, ch you know, the chance to have a baby. And the thing is, like, as a physician, what we know is that as we get older as women, our eggs become fewer and far between. And the quality is a lot less which is why it's harder to get pregnant when you're older so yeah and it was a big decision for me honestly it was my family who suggested it and I was offended I was like what you think I can't find no man what you think I can't you don't think I can get married and Listen, have a baby what I you feel you girl I, I was like I was pissed off mm -hmm. actually but the funny thing was I had dinner with a girlfriend of mine and I told her the story thinking yeah my family they're crazy and she's like oh I froze my eggs and I said like, what and it changed my mind it, it, and that's why I like to talk about it because I think a lot of women are curious they're thinking about it they don't know anyone who's done it it's intimidating they may feel like they're a failure I felt like maybe a little bit of a failure that mm -hmm. I hadn't had kids yet and what are you saying I have to freeze my eggs but it's not about that can I ask a dumb, dumb no question? dumb questions no, okay. no dumb questions <laughs> How do you harvest an egg? Uh, yeah, so what you Physically. do, what you do is you have to take the woman. You take hormones. You inject yourself with hormones for a couple weeks. Don't be freaked out. It's okay because you know it's about two or three weeks. You give yourself hormones. You see the doctor like every How couple often, days. Every day, the hormones. Every are? day, unless they call you because they're checking your labs almost every day or every other day, and the doctor will literally call you and say, "Hey, Jen, do this today. Do that today." So they're literally monitoring your hormone levels mm -hmm. day by day, and then at a certain point, you take extra medications, and then they bring you in to like a surgery center, and you're under anesthesia. So it's the kind that that like you get like if you're getting a colonoscopy or something you don't remember the procedure you can talk back but you're not like awake you know twilight and t thank you love that Karen a twilight so they um, I don't know how much I can say on TV but it's a needle that's used to put in where you get the eggs from right Okay, but you're asleep. They mm -hmm. retrieve the eggs and they freeze them. They put them on ice. And is that some facility in the Delaware yeah. Valley? Yeah, and so this is the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, it's too expensive. And I used to tell people there's so many different facilities that do it, local and university. So just shop around, plenty of local places, and then you pay egg rent. I pay egg rent. Egg rent. That's uh -huh. funny. I pay I rent for my eggs every but year. It's not I, rent, is I rent send high? in a check. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay. And I don't think it's about being a failure. I think sometimes you put your work first and you put right. that in your a career. Lot of and that's so many of my yes. friends are in the situation. So yeah. and I had kids late. I mean I didn't go Did to you? that scenario, but my first kid wasn't until thirty five. So yeah. yeah, that's no. great. It's that's encouraging though. So mm -hmm. there's hope. There's hope for us. Thanks. And Dr. you don't want to rush into something you shouldn't be Word. in. Word. Dr. Jen, thank you for that for that.